Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so for a long time, I have been getting a little bit sort of annoyed, a little bit kind of a bit stressed out with the highlights in my hair, as you can see. Now, as you can see here, they look really a nice, cool tone of blonde. They look quite silvery they look really really nice they didn't yesterday before i use this product today we are looking at the provoke touch of silver toning treatment mask now this stuff is really really amazing and i have no intention of reviewing this product but because i have highlights at the moment which i've been a little bit down with uh, for a little while just because of the color they have been going um and i do find that because i had more highlights this time i do find that my hair is going more more brassy more but rather than brassy, it's going quite yellow in places. And I find that after about the second and third day of not using a sort of toning design shampoo or conditioner or, or now hopefully of this product, my hair really does throw back a horrible sort of yellowy, brassy, not very nice tone. And it makes the whole sort of blonde highlight look which I've got going on. Just in my opinion, for me, looks just a little bit naff, a little bit kind of washed out, not what I'm going for. What I what I like is, of course, I've got the dark root here. Now, when I have it first done, it's right up close to the root, of course, but I always like it when it's grown out a lot more, so you've got this dark hue. And I always find if you haven't got the right sort of uh, aftercare for the blonde, it makes the hair look almost like that you've got a, a grown out strip and then you've got the nice faded out highlights. So you have to use the right type of products to enjoy that that kind of really cool looking blonde. And um, of course, call in tone and call in hairstyle and look. Um, whether you're a man or a woman watching this, blonde is a much more of a premium uh, hair color to have. It takes a lot more looking after. Just get this out of the way so I can actually see you. It takes a lot more uh, looking after. It takes a lot more nourishment because bleach predominantly does change the texture of your hair. And quite naturally, your hair will start to throw back all those natural tones, especially if you're like me and your hair is naturally really, really dark. So let's get talking about this product. So this product here, I went into Boots uh, a couple of days ago and uh, here in the UK looking for not for hair care products, you may be really surprised at that. But I always then, if I'm in those type of stores, have a look if there's anything new I can try. Um, sometimes to bring to the channel, or sometimes just in the background uh, to try for just to keeping the upkeep of my hair nice and healthy, being I do quite a lot with it. Um, and I come across this product. So it's, you can find this, I've done a bit of research, you can find this toning product. It's a by Provoke Professional Hair Care Touch of Silver for Blonde, Platinum or White Hair. And it's for highlights as well. I've tried the shampoo of this, which I like, however, it's not very nourishing. It's not very moisturizing. The conditioner I really like of this brand as well. Um, never ever tried the toning treatment mask. And I've used this twice now, only twice. And yes, I used it straight after because the first time I didn't leave it in my hair long enough at all because I was a little bit nervous because I'm just going to actually show you. Now, I haven't got a lot of experience in terms of using uh, purple sort of based product or anything like that for blonde. So I'm just going to take a tissue and I'm just going to show you. For a conditioner, I've just put that on here. I'm just going to move it across. For a conditioner, it's quite blue. As you can see, it shows up really well on the tissue here as being blue. Um, so I've just taken that out of here now. And just so I can show you again. Um, just on the screen here, it's blue. And I thought, I've got highlights here which are really quite white. And I thought, ah, it's either going to really, really stain or it's just not going to wash out. But you know what? It doesn't. What it does is it removes all those natural, those brassy, horrible hue tones which you don't necessarily want in blonde hair, to be quite honest with you. Now, for the price, well, as I say, I've been doing some research on this, and you can buy this for around £7 to £5, but quite crazily, I've seen this on, um, it had a reduced ticket by the side of it, and this was only one twenty-five. so what a steal for this, and you know what, let's talk to you a little bit more about it, and I'll go into how it made my hair feel. So it's for blonde, platinum, or white hair, okay, so it's a toning treatment mask with hydrating aquaplex. Now, I'm going to say that, so we hear a lot, don't we, about um, when you look for um, or if you go into a high-end salon or a uh, hairdresser's or what have you, they always try to get you, if you've got blonde, to use Olaplex. Now, I bought o Olaplex when I first had this done back in December, um, and there will be a review coming shortly for that. So I believe Aquaplex is a bit of a play on that. It might not be. I haven't done the research into it, but it is a great product, so it, re it, re um, 
It <laughs> neutralizes brassy tones and nourishes hair in just one wash. It's 200 mils. Okay, so it's touch of silver toning treatment mask contains salon strength violet pigment to actively neutralize brassy tones and hydrating aquaplex to nourish for visibly brighter hair in just one wash. This luxurious mask instantly tones for radiant colour whilst transforming tresses that are damaged and over-processed to leave hair feeling soft, healthy and hydrated. Suitable for coloured, natural, highlighted, uh, blonde, platinum, white and grey hair. So here's the direction. So after using the clarifying treatment shampoo, now I haven't done that. You may want to do that. I haven't. I haven't even bought that one. I use this as a standalone product. Um, it's got a smooth, generous amount through the hair, ensuring even coverage. Leave for three minutes before rinsing thoroughly. Ideal for weekly use or as uh, when you need to brighten your blonde. Use colour care shampoo and conditioner between washes to avoid colour buildup. Now, going back to me, I know this looks a bit weird with me putting this on the tissue. Let's see if I can spread it out a little bit across the tissue here. As you can see how blue this is on here, okay, um, you would not be surprised if you were to leave that on too long, you would get some staining, I believe. You would get some staining. So if you were going to start using that every single day, I think what your blonde would end up looking like is a real blue sort of tone. Um, and it probably wouldn't be very nice from that as aspect, unless you were going for those sort of pastel sort of silvery blue colour, then it may actually help you to be quite honest with you. Um, in terms of using it on the, uh, all over your hair, I've used this, as I say, twice. Um, why I've used it twice and so close together, because I used it once and I only left it on for three minutes. And I needed a little bit more. I needed a little bit more assistance from the product. So I put it on and then I left it on. I'm going to say for about 20 minutes. I went around doing whatever I wanted to do. And then after I was left with this. And as you can see, it's really cool. It's really healthy. It's really shiny. And I've almost got like a bit of a metallic colour going on in this as well. And just so you can kind of see, I'm really pleased with the real nice silvery cool blue hue which I've got going on in my hair now, which I really, really love. Um, so for this, wholeheartedly recommend this product. Cannot recommend it enough. Does it agitate your scalp? Because of course you get it all over your, your hairline if you're going all throughout your hair. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make it feel uncomfortable. It doesn't make it feel itchy. I've had no adverse effects on this at all. Um, and I absolutely love it. There is not too much more to say about this product. But, I mean, I personally paid this. Whether or not it's because they're not necessarily doing so much of the product now or they suddenly out this particular product. I paid one twenty five from Boots. This is still available online between five and seven pounds. But you know what? I would pay twenty seven pounds for this. This stuff is incredible. And this stuff really made my hair super soft, super sleek, healthy. And as you can see, it feels really, really nice. And what I've just done is I've taken a, a blow dryer just with no particular brush at all and just pulled my fingers through it just with a blow dryer in the opposite hand. And it's just made my hair really, really sleek. And then towards the end, I've just passed a straightener through just so it gives a bit more of a smoother look. And I really, really like it. And you know, what? when you've got hair like this, you just can't stop touching it, can you? So, and that's going from bearing mind, when I first had this done, I wasn't necessarily pleased with how um, it changed my hair texture, to be quite honest with you. Now, of course, I've done all this. I can't keep the hair out of my face as I'm talking to you. So it really has changed uh, the whole whole texture of my hair. It's really soft. It's really nourished. I'm really impressed. And in terms of colour, yeah, it's to be quite honest with you, it's the equivalent uh, it's the equivalent colour of what I had when I had it back in December and I had the highlights and I have like a silvery type blonde. Um, it takes a long time to achieve. But yeah, with this, you can achieve it at home. It looks really, really cool and I really, really like it. It doesn't look, some blondes and some styles can look a bit feminine. Some styles can look a little bit too much, I think, on men's hair. This for me is just right. I wouldn't want it to look any more. I certainly wouldn't want it in the roots anymore or anything like that at all because I always find when I first have it done, it looks a little bit too dumb. Um, I like it to look like that I've worn I've worn the colour for quite a while. I like it to look quite worn quite worn out, not worn out, quite sort of faded out, so I get more of a darker sort of hue in the roots. And um, ultimately, I really really like it. As I say, it's that soft and sleek. It's not even staying put where I'm putting it. So excuse me if you keep touching my hair, but I'm trying to talk to you. So from that respect, I absolutely love this product. Really recommend it. Um, any negatives? Probably just that the three minutes what's quoted on here, I didn't find was quite enough. Um, so having said that, you just need to give yourself a little bit more time. And of course, because it is a product which is predominantly for uh, 
It's not a toner, of course, but it's along the lines of trying to eliminate those brassy tones in blonde hair. If you are using it for that, just be, everybody is different after all, so just be a little bit sort of careful. If you are using it and you do perhaps sometimes get a little bit sensitive to products, just be a little bit mindful of that. And perhaps just try it in an area where you think, actually, I'm a little bit sensitive here sometimes. I'll just be a little bit careful. And if you think after a couple of minutes that it is starting to agitate you, of course, that is, that is, possible to happen with any type of product, but I think more so because there is a pigment in here which is designed at trying to neutralise those brassy tones. So even though it's fine to me, just be a little bit mindful and careful with yourself, but ultimately I love this product and I really, really recommend it. Would I use it again straight away now? Because I used it this morning. So no, I wouldn't, not at all. I left it on for about 20 minutes this morning, wouldn't use this now again until I started seeing in my hair those sort of brassy, yellowy sort of hues coming through. Um, until I see that, I'm really, really happy with how I've got my hair at the moment. So ultimately, no, not at all, not a problem. Really, really like it. And as you can see, as I'm moving my hair around, you can see that it's really kind of shimmery, really nice and silvery. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Look at me with the whole Harry Potter jersey on today. <laughs> anyway, really, really love this clip. Um, Love this product. Thank you very much for sharing this with me. If you do have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below and I'll do my very best to get back to you as quickly as I can. I'm off to grab a brush or a comb. I'm sat at a desk here now. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's smarten this up whilst you're still, whilst you're still on the, ah, oh, that looks better. Nice to finish the camera clip with a bit more smarter looking hair. So thanks very much for bearing with me with that. Um, as I say, really wholeheartedly recommend this one. Um, give it a try. Absolutely, give it a try. Okay, so until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Take great care. Thanks once again. Bye now.